Welcome to Tethered Thoughts with Bosse De Santos, the podcast where I deliver powerful God truths to fuel your success. My name is Bosse De Santos, your host, and I'm honored to journey with you towards attaining a success mindset. I lead Romans 819 Ministries, where we equip Christians to know who they are and what they have in Christ so they can live audacious and impactful lives. In each bite-sized episode, we'll dive into scriptures which affirm the mindsets which have propelled successful leaders, innovators, and visionaries to the heights they've attained. Join me every other weekday for a quick, potent dose of eternal wisdom meets contemporary success. Hello, friends and fellow world changers. It's midweek and celebration time. 100 episodes. I am so thankful I get to do this. I get to bring the word of God to you, my listeners, so you can live a successful life, making a world of difference in your spheres of influence. What better episode than today's to stop and review the focus of this podcast, living a successful life using timeless wisdom found in the scriptures, In appointing Joshua to take over Moses' leadership, God told him to always be strong and courageous and always live by all the law I gave to my servant Moses, never turning from it, even ever so slightly, so that you may succeed wherever you go. Let the words from the book of the law be always on your lips. Meditate on them day and night so that you may be careful to live by all that is written in it. If you do, as you make your way through this world, you will prosper and always find success. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Never be afraid or discouraged because I am your God, the eternal one, and I will remain with you wherever you go. All this means that success or a successful life, according to God's definition here, is aligning our words with God's and thinking on them till they become our own reality, which makes them the inspiration or foundation for how we conduct our lives. Merely knowing or hearing the word without acting on it, the scripture says, is deception. We've shared on this podcast before, Remember the James scripture about someone looking in a mirror and immediately forgetting what they look like. So for us not to live in deception, tethered thoughts brings you bite-sized eternal truths for daily successful living. Perhaps you've wondered as well what I meant by referring to you as world changers in my introduction to every episode. So I thought to explain on this milestone episode, which I've titled World Changers. And today's focus scripture is Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 20. And today I'll read from the expanded Bible. It reads, Then Jesus came to them and said, All power or all authority in heaven and on earth is or has been given to me. So go and make followers or disciples of all people in the world. Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach them to obey everything that I have taught or commanded you, and I will be with you always, even until the end of this age, or this world, or this time. This scripture shows Jesus giving a purpose instruction to his disciples, and like everything God does, he starts by supplying what we would use for every assignment he gives us. In this case, his power and authority. Then he asked them to go. The Greek verb translated go here means to pursue the journey on which one has entered or to continue on one's journey. This means in our day-to-day lives, on our jobs, in our encounters with people in general, we are to make followers or disciples of all people in the world, baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, teach them to obey everything that Jesus taught or commanded us. Now, 
don't let your imagination run too wild seeing yourself in some amazon forest preaching to natives as a missionary although that's not to say it could it couldn't involve that but when jesus was established what jesus was establishing here for his disciples and us by extension is a lifestyle of influencing those in our world in our everyday life and by his power and authority given to us through his word we are to display the successful life before them remember the definition of success i shared earlier seeing the power of god working in our own lives would inspire them to follow christ also from the greek word translated to baptize here jesus wasn't only referring to water baptism but about the progressive transformation they'd experience as they take on the nature of christ they're being constantly exposed to through our instructions and lifestyle much like a cloth would take on the color of the dye when dipped into it and that's not all he promised his ever abiding presence just like god did with joshua so we're never on our own in bringing others to christ it's an invitation to walk with him and as we change the world for him sometimes or perhaps more times than we care to admit we forget Jesus doesn't expect us to carry out this audacious assignment on our own or in our own strength for that matter. We, hear, uh, we have his power and authority and most importantly, his presence. In asking Joshua to be bold and courageous, God wasn't asking him to show some prize based on the, any natural ability that he possessed, but to have a confident trust in God based on all God had spoken to him and what he knew and had experienced of God. So world changers, step up to the plate and change your world for God. You may well be oh, the only love letter from God that they'd ever read. Paul wrote to the church in Corinth, you are our letter. Every word burned into our hearts to be read by everyone. You are the living letter of the anointed one the liberating king nurtured by us and inscribed not with ink but with the spirit of the living god a letter too passionate to be chiseled onto stone tablets but emblazoned upon the human heart and so what are the key takeaways and success principles we find in today's scripture empowerment through divine authority jesus begin, begins his command in matthew 28 verse 18 to 20 by affirming that all authority in heaven and on earth have been given to him. And this declaration empowers us as believers to act not in our own strength, but under the authority and power of Jesus Christ, recognizing his divine authority has given or will keep giving to us the confidence and boldness to carry out our mission in life. We're called to be world changers, the Great Commission calls every believer to be a world changer. This isn't limited to traditional missionary work, but involves influencing the people in our immediate surroundings, our families, workplaces, communities. We're called to make disciples in our everyday living, demonstrating Christ's love and teaching through our actions and words, living out our faith through actions. It's not enough to know or hear God's word. We must act on it, just as Joshua was instructed to meditate on the law day and night and to be careful to live by it. We're called to let God's word guide our actions and decisions daily. True success, according to God, comes from aligning our thoughts, words, and actions with his teachings. Then the transformative power of our example. As believers, our lives should reflect the transformative power of Jesus, just as the dye changes the uh, color of a cloth. A consistent walk with Christ should influence those around us, leading them to a progressive transformation into Christ-likeness. Our lives are a testimony and a powerful tool for discipleship. And finally, God's presence in our mission. Jesus promises his disciples that he will be with them always, even to the end of the age. This assurance means that we are never alone in our mission. Just as God encouraged Joshua, to be strong and courageous because it would be with him, we also are encouraged to trust in God's presence and strength as we fulfill our calling. What are some practical life applications that we can uh, draw from this scripture? Share your faith in everyday context. 
Look for opportunities in your daily life to share your faith with others. Cultivate a habit of meditating on scripture. Make it a daily practice to read, meditate on, and apply God's word. This could involve setting aside time each day for Bible study, prayer, and reflection on how scripture applies to your life and live authentically as a letter from Christ. Consider your actions and words as a living letter to those around you. Finally, rely on God's strength and presence. When facing challenges or feeling overwhelmed by the task of sharing your faith, remember that you are not alone. Pray for God's guidance and strength. And perhaps uh, one extra for, the, for, for a good measure, encourage others in their own faith journey. In conclusion, Matthew 8, uh, 28, beg your pardon, 18 to 20, uh, uh, Jesus here provides us with both a mandate and a promise. He calls us to be world changers, sharing the gospel and making disciples or in every corner of our lives. This task might seem daunting, but Jesus reminds us that we do not do this alone or in our own strength. He has given us his authority and has promised his constant presence with us. As we embrace our role as his ambassadors, we should move forward with confidence and courage, knowing that God is with us every step of the way. And by living out our faith authentically and relying on his guidance, we can effectively influence those around us and fulfill our divine purpose. Remember, we are not just followers of Christ. We are his living letters to the world showing others the transformative power of his love and grace. So let us step boldly into this calling, knowing that as we do, we are contributing to God's greater plan and advancing his kingdom. Now here's a declaration to make and meditate on throughout today. I declare I am a world changer, equipped with the power and authority of Jesus Christ. I go boldly into the world sharing his love and truth with those around me. I am not alone on this mission. God's presence is with me, guiding and empowering me every step of the way. I am strong and courageous, trusting in God's promises and his unending support. Today, I commit to making a difference in my world, knowing that through my obedience and faith, God's kingdom grows and lives are transformed. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for listening and taking action. I trust this episode has impacted you. Please subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. Also, if you know anyone who could use these truths, please share with them and be sure to rate us on Spotify, Apple Podcast, or wherever you get your podcasts. Jesus entrusts us with the responsibility of being salt and light in the world. Both traits are nouns and verbs, who to be and what to do. Romans 8, 19 says, The world is waiting for us to demonstrate God. So go out, make a difference today, even if just one heart at a time. May the grace of God empower you, his wisdom instruct you, and his love secure you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you and God bless. Have a successful day and see you on Friday.